challenge, 50,000 words in 30 days. That's right, it's NaNoWriMo. So this here is my workspace. This is where I make magic. This is where I write, and this is where I edit my videos. It's just a dining room table, it's not a special desk, it's just here since we don't have a whole lot of furniture for the new house yet. So yeah, this is it. This is my computer, my monitor, my pens, my notebook, my keyboard, and I usually have a soda over here. But um, yeah, that's it. Hey bookworms! I'm Book Kitty and this is Kitty's Corner. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about a challenge that I've decided to do. Um, being a reader and a writer, uh, I wanted to add a few things on our channel that kind of related to writing because I recognize that there might be some other book lovers out there who may also be writers. So I decided to share this journey with you as well. If you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it is National Novel Writing Month and apparently it's been going on since 1999. Um, this would be the 20th year and I found out about it literally two hours after November 1st started. <laughs> it was two o'clock in the morning on November 1st and I saw another booktuber. I'll put the link up. I don't remember who it was but I'll look it up and I'll, I'll link it for you. Um, but I found another booktuber who was talking about NaNoWriMo from last year and I was just like what is this? So I looked it up and sure enough it had started two hours prior to me finding this video. So at that moment, I decided that the universe sent it to me for a reason. Basically, there's a reason that I found it literally two hours into the month. And I just couldn't deny the universe that. And I couldn't deny myself that either. I have been working on this book for over 10 years. Uh, the idea was born before my daughter was born. Earlier this year, I started working on it again after years of not touching it. I got a lot of organization. I got a lot of planning, a lot of research. I got a lot of uh, a lot of the big storyline or character pieces worked out. But uh, and I had written into chapter one. I was doing pretty good, and then I hit a roadblock, I, a writer's block, as you if you will, and that was July. <laughs> Haven't touched it since then. I've been thinking about, okay, I need to write again, I need to write again. And then NaNoWriMo showed up in my life. So here I am um, on day three uh, of doing NaNoWriMo. And I am ahead of schedule. <laughs> I'm ahead of schedule by 800 words. Um, if you break down 50,000 words between 30 days, it's about, it's 1,666 words a day. And I've been topping 1,700 a day the last three days. So I'm really excited. I seem to have gotten past my block. My first chapter is insanely long, and I'm going to have to refine it. But I have vowed to myself not to look back at anything I'm writing until after NaNoWriMo is over. Right now I'm just focusing on writing, and I will proofread and edit and chop and add after November is over. This experience so far, just on day three, has been a rush. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on our channel and getting a lot of videos out. Um, in the last two days, I got three videos recorded, edited, and uploaded and ready to publish on schedule. And then I exceeded my word minimum for NaNoWriMo. And I am just on top of the world right now. Um, of course, to be fair, I haven't had a lot of household responsibilities getting in my way the last couple of days, so I do anticipate some life events getting in the way over the course of the month, but that's why I'm really glad that I'm ahead by a little bit, and as I continue and am able to, I'm going to consistently try and write over the minimum just so that I do have a little bit of cushion room. So I guess we'll see how that goes on down the line. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup today on camera. It's because I'm kind of fitting this filming in, in between writing and editing on videos. And I just, I'm running myself ragged and I just didn't have time to do makeup. I'm um, hoping I'm not looking too, too bad in this light, but um, yeah, I just, 
I'm really focused. Like, I had a couple of friends come over last night, and I had to force myself to stop writing when I hit my lim- my minimum just to spend some time with my friends and make, you know, make room in my life for somebody I haven't seen in, in like, I don't know, a month and a half. As soon as they left, I went right back to writing <laughs> and got another 1,700 words done, which got me, I would say, a day ahead, but it was technically after midnight, so it does count for today's words. So any writing I do tonight will go toward my bank, so to speak. Um, but yeah, this, so far it's going really well and I hope to keep this pace. And let me tell you, the uh, NaNoWriMo support group on Facebook uh, is amazing. Um, within hours I felt included, I felt supported, I felt like I definitely wasn't going through it alone. And it's not that I don't have the support at home. My uh, partner is also a writer who's also going through a writer block right now. I tried to get him to do this with me, but it was last minute, so I didn't push the issue. And uh, he said he has tried NaNoWriMo before, but did not succeed. And uh, I pointed out the community and how supportive they've been and the website. Um, the website is a newer website. I don't know how the old website was. The new website is having a little bug uh, problem, but I do like it. and. So I did point that out to him, and I suggested that maybe we do it together next year. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but the community has been super supportive. Uh, just you know, encouraging people when they're hitting their targets, encouraging people when they're not hitting their targets. You know, sometimes we can't hit our targets every day, and sometimes we have a hard day, or maybe we couldn't get started writing for the first three, four days. I've seen this story time and time again on Facebook already, and. I guess the only thing I have to say is that, you know, we all have different levels of responsibilities. We all have different levels of stress and anxiety and even depression. This is Western society and almost all of us have it uh, in some form or another. And we're all dealing with it and we all deal with it in our own ways. Some of us, writing helps us get through it. Others, writing seems more like a chore when you're feeling that way. And that's okay. Um, as long as you keep plugging away, as long as you keep trying and you write even just five words, that's five more words than you had before. And then you get through that five words, you go, okay, can I do another five? Yes. Okay. Let me type out another five. And before you know it, you're 300 words later and hopefully the words are just flowing and the characters are coming alive on the page. And if that's not the case, that's okay too. Maybe this just isn't your year. Keep trying finish out the month and see how far you get and then next year or next month even there's no saying you have to do this once a year try again you know set a goal for yourself and if 50,000 words is too much for your lifestyle or your schedule or your stress level then cut that goal down you know make your own goal um, and just make it a little bit more than you got last time and that's how you make achievable goals you know you make you make your goal a little bit more than you achieved last time and then you achieve that goal, and then you make your next goal just a little bit larger than that first goal. And before you know it, you've got yourself a good piece of writing that probably needs a lot of editing. But that's okay. There are people that do that. <laughs> In my day three closing, I'm going to say that right now things are on track. Right now things are a little ahead of schedule for me. And I'm riding the high. And I just hope that the rest of this video, as I update along this month, will be just as cheery and excited, but, you know, reality. So, I don't know if that will be the case, but I really hope it is, because I'm really super excited for this, and I really want to get my book done, because I feel like it just needs to be shared with the world. So, I will check in with you again in a couple of days, and update you on my progress. Day 8 of NaNoWriMo 2019, and I am right on track. I'm no longer ahead. I took a day off, um, an entire day. No writing, no reading, no YouTube. Just a day of TV and nails and some other things. I got back into it the, the very next day, and I did my minimum. I, I got just a little over 1,700 words that day, and it was a real struggle on that one. Um, 
towards my day off, I had spent about three hours talking to my partner about where my book is going because I had him read the first part that I had did, uh, had done, sorry, had done. And um, we were talking about basically finding inconsistencies and plot holes and, and things that I might need to work around later and things I should leave open so I have room to actually write the series that I want to write behind it. I can't, he's reminding me I can't put everything in the first the first book or there won't be anything else to discover and he's right um so i spent about three hours with him doing that and just going through and figuring out magic system stuff so when i went back to write it was almost overwhelming because i had all these things in my mind that i definitely want to get to and i'm not there yet in the plot so i'm like my brain is just super crowded right now um last night i wrote like 24 words 24 words Maybe. Um, yeah, I literally just put like two sentences on the end of a dialogue tag. <laughs> it wasn't much at all. Um, but tonight I am going. I am going to go, go, go. And um, it's going to be great. <laughs> I really think this book's going to be more than 50,000 words. And I really think that what I thought was going to be the first book is really going to turn out to be the first trilogy in the series. Because there's just so much to put into it. Um, but it hasn't been difficult. It hasn't been difficult for me to get time to do it. Um, I go to bed quite a bit later than my partner does. And so the house is quiet aside from the traffic out front. The house is, for the most part, um, quiet and I'm unbothered. I just put on some music and write. For people that might be watching this in 2020, maybe doing NaNoWriMo or ramping up for NaNoWriMo, just know that at some point it's gonna get a little difficult, but as long as you get something down, that's, I think, the biggest part. You know, I, I wrote 24 words before midnight last night just because I had to put something down on, on pa paper, so to speak. It's on my computer over there. Um, and I think that that's gonna be the key to getting through this with my sanity intact. So, I guess we'll see. So here I am. It is one o'clock in the morning on November 17th, and I am still at just over 11,000 words. I haven't written in two weeks, almost. I'm getting a little frustrated with myself, if I'm going to be honest. And, uh,. Well, here I am trying to sit down and force myself to write. I have put on my Headley radio, including like Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco and stuff like that, which usually gets me in the mood to write at least this book. I don't know about future ones, but... Um, so here I am trying to force myself to keep going and get something get back on track um yeah <laughs> so i've just gotten done with my writing sprint for tonight um if you don't know it a sprint is just you set a time and you just write and write and write and write write i mean pretty much like a sprint you're you're writing fast you're writing quick you're just getting it down um and I just went for the last hour and 10 minutes. I went, I went 10 minutes over. And I didn't get my daily goal. I didn't hit the, uh, was it 2600, 2700 that I wanted to hit today. But um, I did hit, um, what is it, a little over 1000. Uh, about 1600. So about 1000 under what I needed. But I started after midnight. It is now almost 2 a.m. and I have the rest of the day to finish that. So I'm going to call it a night and try again tomorrow after my Dungeons and Dragons game. Because I only have one tomorrow when I'm supposed to have two. So I'm going to use the second one, the time for the second one to, uh, to write. So hopefully I can get myself back on track so I will be back and let you know how I did <laughs> okay guys here we are on November 22nd and 
my books at like 14,000-ish words. Um, clearly I'm not on schedule. I, I got myself some writer's block. I think I just, I think, I think the last video I talked about being bored with my own writing. Well, I did hit some, uh, progress that very night. I was able to write like 4,000 words in a night, which is cool. I got some progress. Um, now I'm at a point where I know what's supposed to happen. Not really sure how to put it all together put it down on paper and really lead up to it. The stuff that you put in, in between, like the, how do I get to the, these specific events that I, these things that I need to happen? And that's what I'm struggling with right now. My partner is helping me a little bit with that. We are, we spent several hours talking about it today and yesterday, a little bit about some of my mechanics and some of my magic system and how to kind of refine some of the things that I've got, how to refine some of my characters' backstories, things like that, to add to it, because I mean, he tells me that if I have an idea of where the character comes from, whether it's in the story or not, it'll help me build the character within the story, and he's absolutely right, of course. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, struggling. Um, but I'm still going, I'm still in the fight, and as far as I'm concerned, I can still hit my goal. I just have to have some really, really big writing days. I might even try to do a 24 hour writing marathon, so stay tuned. I might have another video for that. I don't know, 24 hours seems like a bit much. But you know, that's how we grow, It's taking chances. So, till then. So here I am, the day after Thanksgiving, and it is a Black Friday indeed, because I have not written since the last time I have uh, updated y'all, and I'm laughing about it, but I definitely do not feel humorous about it. I am starting to feel completely defeated, at least in the sense of NaNoWriMo. So this week I had to put my computer aside because my partner. I've been having some computer issues the last couple of months and this was the week that we decided that it would get fixed. And I haven't been able to do any of my work. It's just been kind of put on hold and I'm really behind and I'm feeling really stressed about it. And that includes writing because I am not the kind of person who can just write on anything. I kind of just, I need my keyboard. I need my, I just feel most prepared to write when I have my setup. And I'm getting a little down on myself. Now, I'm trying to go easy on myself knowing that I chose to do NaNoWriMo at 2 a.m. on the very 1st of November when I found out about it. And I went into it with no mental preparation, no physical preparation, preparation, nothing. So I'm trying to go easy on myself and knowing that, you know, even just doing a little bit is good. Matter of fact, I've written more this month than I had written on my book at all. So that's positive but I have only hit about 14,000 words this month. I'm at a total of 24,000 words in my book, but I still don't really feel like I've gotten anywhere. I'm 40 pages in and I'm still technically on chapter one. I think I need to rethink some of my structure. I just kept writing and I didn't bother to separate anything. I haven't gone back and read what I wrote. My partner read what I wrote and got some notes on that, which is good, but I'm not addressing those until after the month is over. I might not even address them until after the first manuscript is completely written, um, which I'm hoping, I'm still hoping will happen, I hope by the end of December, but realistically probably by the end of January, just because I know that holidays are a busy time and things come up unexpectedly, so I'm kind of preparing for that ahead of time. But I have been feeling really disappointed in myself because some of the Yes, this week has been tough because my computer's getting worked on, but that doesn't excuse the other days I didn't write. And, yeah, I'm definitely feeling a little down on myself. So here I am. Nana Rye Rose over for 2019. And as you can probably guess, no, I did not meet my goal. And, uh... I was a little bitter about it at first, um, but I did, 
you know, I did remember that, you know, I had a week of my computer just that finished getting fixed yesterday. I'm sorry, today. Um, <laughs> it's been offline for a week. So, but that doesn't excuse the time before that. And I think I mentioned that before. But that's okay. I'm going to forgive myself because I did get a bunch of benefits out of NaNoWriMo and participating this year. Um, you know, I started developing a, developing a habit of writing. I definitely wrote more during the month of November 2019 on my book than I had written total in the last 10 years. Um, so, I mean, that's a, a, a big plus. And through the process, I was able to understand myself and my writing a little bit better. Not because I've read what I've written, because I haven't yet. But I was able to understand how much I'm really capable of doing when I really focus and how quickly I can write when I'm not distracted and um, what sprints are. And I found an absolutely wonderful community in the NaNoWriMo groups. Um, there's one on Facebook, really big one that I was a part of. And just every day there's just constantly encouraging messages and people asking for encouraging and, ha and and I'll notice it was posted an hour ago and there's already 171 way to go keep it up kind of messages on the comments and it just it's super supportive so that's good oh and they're still like active even though it's a week into December so that's really cool I have you know support throughout the year as I continue to write this book and um I don't know, I just, I got a lot of benefits from it. So I'm not calling it a wash, even though I only got to about 15,000 words. I'm going to call it a success. Even though I didn't win NaNoWriMo, which of course you win by um, finishing the 50,000 words, but I am calling it a success. As far as next year comes, hopefully this isn't the book I'll be working on next year. I'll hopefully be working on the next book in the series. And if I am working on this book, then I have something to punish myself over. But for next year, I plan on being insanely more prepared because I didn't know about NaNoWriMo until, as I said, the very day of. Um, so I will be prepared. I will be ready to go. I will make sure my computer has no problems. <laughs> I will make sure to block out writing time every day and not let anything get in the way. Not my relationship, not my friends, not the random people that show up at my house not the roommates that I have, 